There's a lot of people here that get it, they want it, uh, they just don't know where to find it. So I think events like this really broaden their horizons. Ava Solberger reporting for 7 Days TV. We're here at the Sheraton in Burlington for Vermont 3.0 Innovation Jam. We have more than 65 exhibitors, presenters, workshops, tech demos. There's a lot of really cool local companies that are here. Hopefully it's a networking event for the businesses. It's also a networking event for job seekers. Basically to celebrate innovation and entrepreneurship in Vermont. I don't want to know what's happening. You chime in, tell me self-purpose. It's hard to get out of head. Do you know what I mean? Well, SoundSoyce makes creative tools, um, creative software tools for anybody working with sounds. We're showing how you can take sort of a simple music loop and shape it with our plugins to create something totally different. We do a lot of research and development in new applications for infrared light. This is a thermal imager. Firefighters use these to find people in burning buildings where they're full of smoke. So our customers are taking software, putting it on our hardware, and coming up with these brilliant, innovative products. The most sophisticated, complex, ruggedized computer system that we offer. Fully waterproof. The Navy uses it on their boats. We actually manufacture instrumentation that research companies, clinical labs will use with these plates. I'm working on a two-year project that's experimenting with social media to inspire people to get active in their community and do something for the watershed. And we brought our video capture kiosk to collect stories about the lake. Hey, get ready. Be sure to look at the camera. We have the state's only solar photovoltaic training program for electricians. So we're here with our mobile solar trailer just to spread the good word about green jobs and you know opportunities in the green industries. Diverse mix of folks, a lot of students. We've got middle school students, high school students. The kids that are going to be possibly entrepreneurials here in Vermont in, in the near future. Job seekers, networkers. All the way up to I met somebody with a PhD today that's just here networking. We've been talking with a lot of folks, folks who are kind of looking for career changes, people who are recently out of school. It's been a great mixture. Yeah. People who want to start businesses, who have great ideas. I've heard, I have heard several people talking about their big idea. And When I tell the kids, I get paid to play with Facebook and Twitter. They're over there with their iPhones and taking photos. You know, I've really been blown away by some of the kids are so tech savvy. I mean, that's the really cool thing. And they get it. They say, oh yeah, that's got the same chip that's in my laptop at home. And I'm saying, what? So you know what I'm talking about? We want our kids to stay here. We want our future to be here. I want to tap into the businesses that are here and get as much experience as I can. I know that this event works because I've talked to people who have gotten jobs as a direct result of this event. Hiring in-state, uh, I'm a product of that. I've talked to employers who have hired people as a direct result too, so it's great to bring people together. That's all I can do for you now. It's why I can be protected. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. Is it happening? Let's check. I can try to handle what to do. They don't want cowboys here anymore. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't know. Check again. Start today. Start today, right? You know, Vermont's got a bigger tech landscape than uh, than what people realize. It feels like there's a bunch of small companies doing doing really neat things. I think it's really interesting how Vermonters are embracing this. There's a lot of entrepreneurial spirit in Vermont. A good reason to be located in Vermont is there are a lot of very highly educated very experienced people here in Vermont. Our company is pretty, a pretty good testament of what kind of company can exist in Vermont. It's exciting. It's really exciting to be on the edge of it. I think we're still kind of figuring out what it means for Vermont. Vermont, for myself, as someone who's from here and grew up here and moved away and came back, you know, it's just good to see so many creative thinkers in one spot, especially in an event like this. It's all around. You will find the light. A fair amount of skill will be required. 
I think Vermont's got a wonderful techie entrepreneurial future ahead of it. We just need to help with infrastructures to help with connectivity. I think we got to work a lot harder on job creation and you know jobs solve a lot of problems. Jobs solve a lot of issues but if we can keep them green, if we can keep them on the techie end which are going to potentially pay folks a little bit more money, all the better for Vermont. Way to go, Vermont. You've come a long way, baby. This is Ava Salberger reporting for Seven Days TV. Um, Sorry. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Sorry, that was me. <laughs> I'll watch you online. Uh -oh. I'm a subscriber. Awesome. I'm staying in Vermont, and I'm stuck in Vermont. <laughs>